So, so this video is supposed to be showcasing the difference between my old recording method of using remote play and my new recording method using an actual capture card. Uh, and that is uh, thanks to Dank for the donation that resulted in this. Uh, thanks, man. It's, uh, it's fucking awesome. And with that said, I'm going to just get into it. So I'm just going to have footage playing to showcase that. And I'm going to talk about YouTube shit. Um, so YouTube shit. Let's see if I can not reiterate and talk over myself and not get on tangents, which is so difficult for me. Uh, let's, okay, let's, let's, let's talk resolution. YouTube has two codexes. If you're, if you're 1080 or lower, it gives you the bad one. If it's 1440 or higher, you get the good one. So I need to upload everything in 1440. And I already intended to start doing that, but there are some little asterisks, some little problems, and those are all in size. I have data caps. Uh, my upload is only five-ish, five megabytes, or sorry, five megabits and some change, which is not great. Um, so things take a while to upload, uh, and uploads do eat into that data cap of, you know, a little over a terabyte of every month. So I gotta be careful. Now before, when I would record an eight hour session, like I had an eight hour session that was like 40 gigabytes and an average 45 minute video was like two and a half to three gigabytes because Remote play was so shit, and I was using the uh, the YouTube quality. Probably shouldn't have been doing that, but it didn't really matter much because of remote play. Uh, the YouTube quality render out for 1080 on DaVinci. Uh, that is really bad, and I am never going to use that again. Uh, after testing things, I, I recorded all the footage you're seeing here. I recorded them both at the same time, so it's the exact same gameplay. It's not, it's not, you know, people playing two different sessions of two different recordings. I recorded both of them at the exact same time. Just opened two versions of OBS and had them record two separate things. Uh, the nice thing about that is I can easily just swipe and it's literally the same shit. Um, but it, it's, it's big. So I recorded a, a, uh, a six hour session of Liza P that's 95 gigabytes. So I'm used to like 40 gigabytes being maybe eight hours and now over double that for less. <laughs> that's absurd. Um, but it, it makes sense. There's a lot more information there, not just because of the higher resolution, but because the quality isn't shit. Uh, Anyway, back to the YouTube 1080 versus 1440. Where I'm getting with at this is, or been trying to, but you know, <laughs> brain goes all over the place, is that I need to upload in 1440. Now that may mean that I record in 1080, and I've, I've tested this out. A uh, capture card, 1080 recording, blown up to 4K TV, still looks good compared to remote play version that is just a pixelated, garbled mess. Um, not that most people are viewing YouTube that way. I think most people are on their phones or you're viewing it on a computer or a laptop, which is probably a 20 to 30 inch display, probably a 1080 to 1440 monitor. That is the average viewing, I would, uh, you know, so. But I might have to record in 1080, as I was saying, and just render it out as 1440, both to save space and and to lower the impact on data caps because a 1080 video rendered out as 1440 is a smaller file size than a 1440 rendered out as 1440. There's less information there. It has to do less work. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, one thing I have run into, which has been very nice, is that uh, X265 encoder or codex or whatever you want to call it, um straight up renders out faster by a lot. It is so efficient at rendering. It's beautiful. Uh, and it comes out to both higher quality and less file size. I absolutely adore it, and I will always be rendering out as that now. Um, 
It didn't make a difference back when I was doing the remote play 1080, but it is a huge difference now. Uh, as far as the immediate future, I am going to, I'm recording Resident Evil 4 DLC, and I'm recording Lies of P. All of those are going to be 1440, and I'm going to just sort of deal with it. Uh, those will just... My, my plan basically record 1440, upload in 1440, and just hope it all works out. If I start running into problems, if uh, then that, that's when I'll start recording in 1080 to lower, to try and compact the amount of data taking up space and the, that I have to upload at any given moment for any given episode. Um, beyond that, I am going to be eventually. Still need to get a name to figure a few things out, because I am just bad at doing that stuff. Uh, a Let's Play, a long-form Let's Play of Starfield. And that is going to be going up every other day. So there may be periods where a video is out every other day instead of every day. But stuff like Liza P. So there will probably be a period here in a few weeks where there'll be a video Liza, uh, like one day that's Liza P, one video that comes out that's Starfield. And eventually, you know, I'll be done with Liza P, but I'm still going to be playing Starfield. Other games will crop up, I'll play through those, and I'll sort of fill in the gaps. Hopefully it's not an issue. And if, if down the road, uh, if I can upgrade the uh, the internet, that will be that'll be a big one, because then I a lot of these issues just get thrown away, because if I can just have no data caps and a uh, an actual upload that doesn't completely suck ass, uh, I would I would be able to stream in a higher resolution. I'd be able to record and upload stuff much faster and blah blah blah. And that's that none of that fucking matters because none of that is uh, an uh, even foreseeable reality. So that's why whatever. Anyway, that's that's it for me. I don't know if the video is going to be longer than me talking here because I haven't made it yet. So either there's more video. Uh, or there's not. So enjoy, or don't. I, I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. Thank you. 